Hey everybody, this is Daniel Polizic with VMware. And Abby, you want to introduce yourself? Sure, this is Abhinav Mishra from VMware on the vCloud Director Networking Team. So today we're going to talk about vCloud Director Edge Clusters, um, which is a new function in version 9.7 of vCloud Director. Abhinav and I have been doing a little bit of review and uh, write-ups on edge cluster functionality. What we wanted to do in this first video is talk about uh, kind of uh, the reason and rationale behind edge clusters and why a provider would use it. And what is the end benefit? So Abhinav, why don't you, um, we have a high level design slide open here. Why don't you talk about maybe the why? What, what is the compelling reason for a provider to consume edge cluster services inside of a vCloud director environment? Sure. So in a typical service provider environment, your edge gateways are providing north south traffic um, into the WAN slash internet uh, via these external network VLANs. And these external network VLANs, which are essentially port groups, are connected to your edge gateway uplinks. However, in order to basically, uh, from a security point of view and from an optimized traffic flow point of view, you, you want to minimize the span of these external network VLANs. They don't necessarily have to span across the um, edge cluster have them span the edge clusters themselves. And you want your edge gateway VMs to reside in the edge cluster rather than having to reside in the compute clusters. That also gives separation between your edge gateways, which are doing routing and your workloads, your VMs or VMs. So an edge cluster is uh, basically a construct that drives placement decisions for VCD. Um, it knows where to deploy the org VDC edge gateways. And it allows for optimized traffic flow while minimizing the span of layer two broadcast traffic. Great, excellent. So what this is gonna provide a provider and the end tenants is uh, better network optimization, better traffic flow, but also a dedicated placement engine uh, that we can specify and route our north south traffic to. Exactly. Great, excellent. So let's go to the next slide and we'll talk about uh, what we typically see in a, a VXLAN environment, especially with current NSX usage. Sure, so typically in the edge cluster design with VXLAN, you have um, two DV switches, um, one or one DV switch basically residing across your compute clusters. And then another DV switch, which is used on the edge cluster. and these external network port groups or, or VLANs are actually connected to the edge DV switch. However, in order for your overlay networking to work underneath, for example, for routed and isolated networks in vCloud Director, your VXLAN network pool has to not only span the compute DV switch or the compute clusters, but also the edge cluster. And this can be easily achieved in NSX by adding the edge clusters to the transport zone and then by syncing the VXLAN network pool in VCD. Good, excellent. And that kind of leads us to our next discussion on the high level steps on setting this up. I know we could talk about greenfield and also existing or brownfield environments, but why don't we review real quick uh, for the audience uh, what we need to do to uh, set up edge clusters? Sure. So first you obviously, so an edge cluster is basically defined by a resource pool or it's that's residing inside your given edge cluster. And you can either use the cluster level resource pool or a resource pool, a child resource pool inside the cluster. In this case, we've used edge cluster one RP, which resides in edge cluster one as say an active for active appliances and edge cluster two RP and edge cluster two as potentially a standby. Uh, so when you're deploying HA, the standby appliances can go in this for high availability. You also need to define your storage policies um, and this basically allows for, um, for in our edge cluster solution, although you can use the, any storage policy in VCD, now we have the ability to define custom storage profiles. So for example, maybe you want your edge gateways to use vSAN um, versus your VMs to use something else. And so now, um, basically in this, for example, we've created these storage policies, development one, which is using shared disk one, two, and three. And our edge clusters are basically gonna be using uh, this storage policies. 
Great, excellent. So the next thing is on the NSX side. So obviously we need to prepare the net new edge clusters with NSX preparation because they are gonna be running the overlay, but also more importantly, we have to add it to the same trans transport zone. So going in here, we have a single transport zone in this lab environment. And if we look at this, we have uh, our two edge clusters uh, within here, but also our resource cluster, which is our payload where our tenant virtual machines would be residing. Exactly. And if you add the, ed if you've already created a VXLAN network pool in VCD, for example, and then later on you want to use an edge cluster, you have to do the following two steps. You first add the edge cluster to the transport zone in NSX. But then there's an additional step too, where you have to right click the network pool in VCD and click sync. And this basically keeps um, VCD in sync with NSX in terms of the cluster and the DV switch context. Um, that basically, what are the clusters that this transport zone is spanning? Great, yeah. and I think we went over that in our step-by-step -step guide and ensuring that the audience is aware of that. So before we end the video, why don't we give a current state of the lab environment and what we're gonna do in the next video. So uh, just for the audience, what we have here, and let me go back to my host and clusters view. We have two tenants established here. Uh, tenant one right now is utilizing our edge cluster uh, using the primary edge cluster over here. But I have tenant two using the default system VDC pool. And we could see that it still resides in it's uh, the standard resource cluster. And we have these edges associated here. So what we did here is we've already converted tenant one to use the edge cluster. Uh, in the next video, we're going to actually go through the steps needed to convert tenant two, uh, deploy net new edge, and also redeploy uh, the existing edge for tenant two. Abhinav, anything else you want to share before we uh, end this video? Uh, nope, this is great. All right. All right. Thanks, everybody. And uh, next up, we'll talk about uh, configuring tenant two to use edge cluster services in VCD 9.7. Thanks. Thanks.